Hey YouTube, it's Kim. I'm here with a project share and an update to my giveaway challenge. Just had to have it. This is like my fourth time doing this video and my last time. <laughs> anyway, the first card I want to show you guys is a card I made using Charlotte Chic from the Greening Farm. I paper pieced her little outfit, her headband. I colored her up with my colored pencils, her hair with my Spectrum Noir. I freehanded the banners and I used some Salt Crafters bling. There's a sp Spellbinders in the back, back here that I embossed with a Paisley folder. And these are flowers from my stash. These are recollections out of the tin and this also came from Salt Crafter, the flower center. And the inside is just blank. So I actually just finished this one. The next card I made, I wish I used um, this Tilda. She doesn't have a name. She came from Joann's, I want to say, when they had the stamps 50% off. But I thought she, I had to have them when I seen her and I looked at pictures of her, you know, when people make cards and I, oh, I had to have her, I had to have her. So here's the card I made using that Tilda and she's so super cute. I use my pencils to color everything. And guys, I just want to let you know, I don't have Prisma color pencils. I don't have, you know, nothing fancy. You would not believe what I use. I use Crayola, and I use the Woodless pencils. That is it. That's all I have. And I have some pencils from Joann's that I got years ago. And let me just show you one of the Joann's. And this is the one I use for the skin all the time. It's Joann's Scrap Essentials. They don't even sell these anymore. But this is what I use for the skin, for most of them. But you guys can see that. That says Crayola. That's what I use. I do want to invest in some Prisma. Um, just not right now. Because I did go to Walmart and I did a little bit of damage, which I wasn't supposed to do. But I am trying to shop in my room and not spend. That is my goal because I have a trip coming up. I actually have two trips coming up later on in the year and I want to be able to enjoy. I don't need anything. It's it's more of a want. So yes, I'm going to be making more projects and I have a lot of challenges that, I, that I'm interested in as well. So hopefully I'll get to use up a lot of my items. Well, not a lot, but you know, I won't even make a dent, but at least I'll be using what I have. I'm not going to buy anything else for a while. So I say. So in this card, I use the spell binders and I use some flowers from my stash, some seam bindings that I just crinkled the edges. This came from Elizabeth when she had her shop. This and the pearl. Some recollections playing here and here. And that's about it. I used a gel pen on to outline like her ruffles, but I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, and let me show you guys the inside. There is the inside. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever. That's a Michael's flower and some recollections bling. And there's the back. Okay. This paper stack, um, I believe it's SEI, but I don't know the name. I apologize. It's an older stack. I got it from one of my very first conventions. It was $5 for the whole 12 by 12 stack. So it's really, really cute. I've used it um, a lot. So with the scraps, I made some more easel 3x3 three three cards. And this one just says, ever thankful for you. And I used this little flower pot stamp that I got from Walmart yesterday. And I went because, who showed the video? I want to say Nick, Nick and Mackin showed a video of the new stuff at Walmart. So yeah, I had to go check it out and did a little bit of damage. So. These are the cards I made with the scraps. So I made four with the pink flower pots, which are these. And then I made four with the yellow flower pots, which are already packaged up to go. Okay, so that is my share. That, that's what I've been working on for the last couple of days. So now on to my just had to have a challenge giveaway update. I have received video responses from uh, Gigi, who's a copy for Gigi. Amy, who is A. Ott Myers 224, Tracy, who is Miss TLC1, Shantae, who is Shantana, Elon 47, and Crafty Cake 7, who is Glow. 
But first of all, let me say thank you, thank you, thank you to my six par participants. Right now, your chances of winning are one in six. Woohoo! So, if you have not already done so and you would still like to join my challenge, you still have time. It ends on June 30th. So, please join. And if, if you did send a video response and I didn't, you know, read your name, let me know because, like I said, I am doing this from my tablet. But so far, I've been able to receive everybody's video responses with no issues. So, if you did send one and I didn't get it, just leave me a comment and, you know, I apologize in advance. You know, so, and we'll get that worked out. Okay? So, like I said, you guys still have time. It's not until June 30th. So, you still have a few more days. So thank you guys for watching, and I will be back probably not until July 1st to announce my winner. Other than that, I'm going to be busy working on some other challenges, okay? So you guys have a blessed day, and I will talk to you soon.